Hey guys, it's Hunter, and for today's video, I thought I'd show you guys all of the stuff that I have for my puppy coming home on the 26th of October. So over the past few months, I've been buying a whole bunch of necessary products and everything that I need for my dog. So I thought I'd just do like a puppy haul video for you guys to show you all like what I have. So yeah. Okay, so in this bin here, this is all the stuff that I have. I have other stuff as well, including like prongs and vests and patches and all that kind of stuff. But this is all like the toys and the treats and like other products that I've gotten. So I put it all in here to keep it all in like the same spot. So I thought I'd just kind of go through it and show you guys everything that I have. So I packed it to the brim. There are a few things in here that I couldn't fit in here. Um, like a puzzle toy and some food and water dishes and stuff but this is all the stuff that I have in here currently so like I said I have a whole bunch of different kinds of treats and toys and other stuff so I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out randomly and just go from there so um, these are freeze-dried chicken dog treats just a small little package of those and I just have some begging strips I decided to get a variety of different treats to see what my dog likes and doesn't like um, these are just some training treats and then these are another uh, training treat um, brand I guess. Here are these just cheap little dog boots. I thought I could use them to desensitize my puppy to wearing boots and stuff especially for winter or when the summers get really hot and the pavements are really warm. Um, here I have some pepperoni so some more dog treats. Like I said I got a variety of different stuff. So this here is a little like tug treat toy. So basically you can put treats in here and this is supposed to like suction to like your floor and your dog's supposed to like pull on and stuff. I don't know how good it's going to be because I just got it from the dollar store, but I thought to get it and try it out. So that's that. Here I have another just cheap little uh, 15 foot training lead. Um, I thought to use this for my puppy when he's younger for practicing recall work and all that kind of stuff. So I just got a cheap one for now, but I'm planning on getting a better one. Um, so I have a whole variety of like different collars and stuff. So this one is a Toronto Maple Leafs uh, collar. It is a large. I just liked how it looked. I don't actually watch the Leafs or anything. I just thought it looked cool, so I thought I'd get that. And then here's just a little blue and white paw print puppy collar. And then this one here, this is a jump fashion clip collar, size medium. Um, I plan to keep my dog's color theme blue, like how my previous dog's uh, color theme was blue as well. So I got mostly everything blue if I could, so that's why you're going to see a lot of blue items, as well as blue gear. But yeah, so this is the collar I have for that. And then I also have a blue RC Pets uh, Martingale collar. It has the buckle on it, which makes it 10 times easier for me because I have really bad hands. Next I have is this LED light-up collar, so it glows in the darks, which is great for night walks and stuff. It, it is a medium size. Then I have this matching leash also from Jump. It is just a Jump dog leash, so it's blue. And then I attached a poo bag holder on the end because I'm terrible at remembering to bring poo bags so those things save my life. So again another blue leash to match our blue theme. Here is a traffic lead. It's like longer than like a regular traffic lead. It's like I think it's like two feet or foot and a half. I'm not sure. Um, but I just have this. I want to get like a another one like a shorter one. Then I have a gentle leader. So I'm ple pretty sure it's a size large, but I have this gentle leader. Like I said, I also have um, a Herm Springer prong collar as well. It's just not in the bin. Here I have are these two little collar slips. Um, so they just slide onto like a collar or like a leash or something. So this one says do not pet and this one says training. So I thought those would come in handy for training outings or anything like that. Then I have another RC Pets products. Um, product. <laughs> this is uh, the treat pouch I got so it has like a little pocket here for poop bags and then obviously the treats go in there and then that's my receipt. So I've never used a treat pouch before so I was really excited to get one this time around so I'm glad I have that. Now this here this is my clicker. 
it's just I believe it's Starmark. Um, I just got it at my local pet store and it has like a little um, rubber elastic wrist thingy. I don't know what it's called. Wristband I guess. Um, but yeah, that's my clicker. So there's that. So next I'm going to be moving on to toys and stuff. So I just have a variety of different kind of toys. Um, this is just kind of like a rubbery toy where you can put stuff inside. I tried to get a variety of different toys like soft toys and hard toys and different textured toys for different kinds of like stimulation and all that kind of stuff. This is just a little soft toy with a squeaker in it. And I have a little alligator toy. I have this football. It squeaks so that's cool. Then I have this little frog looking thing which has different rubbery textures on it and stuff. Then I have this little bone. I have this rope tennis ball tug toy. I have another tug toy. This kind of like plastic uh, boomerang squeaky dog toy. Apparently it's at maximum durability but we all know that's a lie. I have this little bear just it has different plastic textures and different sounds to it. Then I have a treat, a twist treat dispenser. It says it's for small dogs, but I'm sure it'll work just fine. So there's that. Then I have this little weird sounding blue ball, which I thought would be fun. Then I have a Kong core strength uh, chew bone. It's really, really, really tough. And it's got a whole bunch of different textures on it. And then the classic Kong. Can't go wrong with that. Then I have this little dog toy, but it's kind of like very flimsy, so I'm not really sure if I'll actually use it, but I have it in there just in case I choose to use it, but I probably won't. And I have this. It is a very textured, rubbery, glow-up kind of chew. I don't really know what you would call it. Um, I have no idea, but like I said, it glows up. Kind of see it. <laughs> so there's that. Then I have a dental dog toy. Blue, of course. And then I have a chill bone, so you can fill it up with water and freeze it. And it's great for hot days and helps keep your dog cool. And I thought it could be something good for teething as well. And then I have, of course, a Nyla bone for soft te teething puppies. But obviously, labs can be power chewers, so I'm going to get more of these. That's just the only one I have at the moment. And then lastly, in the bin, I have this giant squeaky dog llama giraffe thing. I don't know what it is, but yeah, there's that. So that is everything I have in my bin of puppy supplies. So I got a quite a good selection of stuff here, which is great. Other things I have here is this crate. Obviously it just has some boxes in it for now, but I have a mat and a blanket in there and it's like a, like a 42 inch crate. So it's a nice big crate and I have the divider panel right there. And some of the last few things I have here, these are the bowls that I have. So this is just a standard white bowl and there's nothing special to it. Then I have two of these. So they're just the same like silver dishes. Obviously I'm going to clean them first. And then I have this little blue paw print slow feeder bowl. And then I have a blue dog food scoop cup thing there. And then this is the seek and find puzzle treat toy that I have. So you just put little toys or food or toys, treats or food in these things here. And then they have to figure out how to pick them up and get the to toy treat out. But yeah, so that's all of the stuff that I can think of at the moment that I have for my puppy. Obviously, I am going to be getting a few more things as the time grows near. But as of right now, this is all the stuff that I have. And then, of course, I have other things like gear, patches, vests, my prong collar and stuff like that. So I do plan on doing a gear haul video in the future and I have a couple packages on the way with more gear as well. So if you want to see those videos, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in one of my future videos. See ya!